Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. Today we are testing the 5700 XT. <coughs> so I just wanted to test it out to start with on the stock BIOS before I look into BIOS modding it. Uh, so I'm going to test it on two or three algorithms just uh, before I uh, mod it. Um, just to see, like have a baseline for what the card can do and then see how much better than that we can do when we go into modding the BIOS. Um, so this, these current settings, which you should be able to see here, <coughs> uh, they are getting 103.5 watts at the wall for 50.3 mega hash. So yeah, um, that's ethash and we're using pink to test this, pink coin. Uh, but yeah, it's an ethash coin, so um, ETC is the same. Uh, and all the other ethash coins same algorithm so yeah that's what i can get on the stock bios on this 5700 xt it is a power color red dragon model uh, and next up i will test a kapow algorithm coin and yeah i'll see you soon all right we're on to the second algorithm here uh, so we're mining kapow algorithm uh, neoxa is the coin it's just one of the coins that uses Kapow. Um, so you can see the results we're getting here is 22, I think it's 22.8 on average. Um, 22.7, sorry, is what it's been uh, averaging out at. Uh, and the wattage at the wall was uh, 130. So subtracting the 16.5 watts of system idle gives us 113.5. <coughs> So this is the efficiency here, 0.2. Um, obviously not as good as the 6000 series, uh, but keeping in mind we have not BIOS modded this yet. This is still the stock BIOS. So yeah, hopefully could get better uh, on a modded BIOS. Um, anyway, these are the settings that we use. So 1300 on the core, 670 on the core voltage, 635 on the memory controller voltage. 750 on the memory voltage, oh, sorry, 750 on the memory clock, uh, 1195 on the memory voltage, SOC Freak 950, um, it's just honestly a number that I've seen uh, floating around online, people use 950 uh, for the SOC Freak, I don't know that it makes a difference with the um, 5700 XTs or not, uh, but the SOC VDD Max at 760 uh, and this card actually ran really cool, so <coughs> just the same method I use as always, putting on auto fan, setting it to about 50 degrees on the core, uh, sorry, to exactly 50 degrees on the core, and then seeing where the fan balances out, uh, and yeah, it went to 38%, and yeah, I only have the one card, uh, one card to test, so that is the results that I got, and... You can see them in here as well. And yeah, that's Kapow. So next I will do Flux. Uh, so I'll see you soon. All right, guys, we have now done Flux on this 5700 XT, uh, getting 37.4 mega hash on the stock BIOS. Uh, and these are the settings that I'm using. Uh, obviously I could, same as all the other um, algorithms that I've tested, I could have gone more uh, hash rate intensive and less efficient, but I've opted to go for the most efficient settings that I could get. Um, so these are again the overclock settings here, uh, and these are the results that I achieved. So 37.4 mega hash at 91 watts for the card. Uh, giving us an efficiency of 0.41, which is all right for where we're currently at, but hopefully once we BIOS mod, uh, we'll get a bit better efficiency, because uh, we know a lot of cards have been increasing in their flux efficiency recently. Uh, apparently the 3070 is all the way up at 0.6, so yeah, we'll have to see about that. Um, I need to test my 3070 to find out uh, what it actually is at the wall but yeah 
some some pretty decent results to start with hopefully the BIOS mod will be able to increase that um, I'm actually not going to test any other algorithms before I BIOS mod it so um, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and BIOS mod it because otherwise it's gonna take forever like testing all these algorithms and then BIOS modding it and then testing them again so I'm just hopefully gonna find a uh, BIOS mod that will just make it more efficient uh, and then do all the testing again so yeah that's pretty much all I've got for this video I'm just gonna release this video like this just the stock BIOS video uh, and then I'm gonna make a new new videos for the uh, after I've BIOS modded it and yeah that's all I've got for this video so leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great day see ya